Daniel He, Blather 1021, Isaiah's Sarcasm. Okay. Now, I've known this passage for a number of years, quite a long time, actually, and uh, I've given it for, uh, an occasional thought. And, um, it's in the Bible, so it's supposed to be the Word of God, and it's supposed to be true, isn't it? It's where Isaiah in his, in his scroll is talking about how God will bring an end to every nation where he has scattered Israel, but won't bring an end to Israel. And, um, well, l let's look at this way. Egypt's still there. And Syria, Assyria really is still there. And, you know, Babylon is Iraq these days, but it's, it's still there. The people are still there, you know. It's, it's not really true. And I mentioned this to God the other day. I mean, yes, that over the day before or something. And, um, sort of commented that it's, um, it was mostly Isaiah having a go and, um, sort of pushing a, push, pushing back a bit at, at the people a bit and, um, sort of t teaching them a lesson and stuff like that, sort of having a bit of a go. Well, it's not really quite, it's, it's, it's what the, the prophets are made of a lot of the time. A prophetical diatribe of their own ideas. Not necessarily the rebukes of the Spirit of God at work. Just, you know, their own agenda and things and just having a bit of a go. So, you know, that's not really literally ever going to happen. But the nations where Israel have been in ex exile at times are going to perish. It's a false interpretation by the looks of it. And it's, it hasn't proved true so far historically anyway. So that's, by the looks of it, it's interpreted by God as, and understood from what the Spirit of God says to me, that Isaiah's just having a bit of a go. That's, that's all it was in factuality anyway. 